Since 1999, Emily de Raven has been making a name for herself in the acting industry. After making her big break on the Emmy Award-winning TV show Lost, she moved on to another popular show, Once Upon a Time. This Australian beauty has also acted alongside many big names in movies, such as Robert Pattinson, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Johnny Depp, while holding her own. As she continues her career and growth, here are 10 facts about Emily de Raven to satisfy your curiosity. 1. Emily de Raven is 39 years old. She was born on December 27, 1981 in Victoria, Australia. This makes her zodiac sign a Capricorn. Her surname, de Raven, is often misunderstood as Raven, like the bird. However, it is of French origin and means, of the ravine. Emily has two half-sisters who are at least 15 years older than she is. 2. Growing up, she studied ballet full-time, starting at Krista Cameron School of Ballet when she was 9, and later attended the Australian Ballet School when she was 15. After ballet school, she attended the National Institute of Dramatic Arts, where Kate Blanchett and Hugo Weaving had also attended. When she was 18, she moved to Los Angeles to pursue acting. She was only in L.A. for a month before she landed her first role as Tess Harding in the TV show, Roswell. 3. When she would post on forums, her username was Diva Duck, however she was mostly active during the airing of Roswell. Emma's biggest TV role is Claire Littleton on the hit show, Lost, Loves Peanut Butter, which is unintentionally ironic because Emily de Raven is allergic to peanuts. In reality, her biggest weakness is actually chocolate. While filming Lost, her character Claire Littleton was not in season 5, but returned for season 6. Because of this, Emily didn't watch season 5 while it was airing, she decided that if her character didn't know what was going on, she shouldn't either. 4. Her favorite burger place is Umami Burger, while her favorite food is sushi. For both Lost and Once Upon a Time, she was originally only cast as a recurring character. She was on Lost for five out of six seasons, and became a main character on Once Upon a Time starting in season two. When auditioning for Lost, she originally read for the role of Shannon Rutherford. 5. While filming her labor scene in Lost, she had an obstetrician on set to help ensure her acting was as real as possible. Even though she started acting in the US in early 2000, she didn't receive her green card until 2004, which made accepting jobs difficult until then. As of 2019, Emma's net worth is $12 million. 6. In 2003, she married actor Josh Yanovich, however they didn't have a ceremony until 2006. After separating and reconciling three times, they officially divorced in 2014. Her favorite books are the Harry Potter series. In 2015, she co-starred in the drama film, The Submarine Kid, which was directed by her then-boyfriend, Eric Billich. 7. During filming of season 5 for Once Upon a Time, Emily de Raven was pregnant, and shots mostly consisted of her upper body. On March 12, 2016, Emily de Raven had her first child, a girl, with her partner, Eric Billich. They named her Vera Audrey de Raven Billich. Shortly after, she and Billich became engaged. Emily's favorite TV show is Friends. 8. She's complained about the American scouring sponges for cleaning pots and pans, and has her mother ship her sponges from Australia because they're more durable. Emily owns a house in Los Angeles, California, where she lives when she isn't flying to and from filming locations. The only known body modifications she has is a tongue piercing and a tattoo on her wrist. The tattoo says Bella, a tribute to her miniature poodle who passed away. 9. Despite what most people think, Emily de Raven is a smoker. Emily wore a wig for season 1 of Once Upon a Time, dyed her hair for seasons 2 to 5, and then went back to using a wig for season 6. All around, she's a small person, she stands at 5 to 1.57 meters, and her shoe size is 6.5 US. 10. During her spare time, Emily has said one of her favorite things is gardening, and considers herself a homebody. Emily is a strong advocate for animal rights and is often encouraging people to adopt from a shelter through her Twitter, at Emily de Raven. On January 21, 2016, Emily, along with her partner and daughter, participated in one of the famous Women's March in Washington, D.C.